Hello, today we are going to make a tour of a house, Silgo 12, so let's take a look. It's quite a big house. Now I'm at the entry, the first floor, and to my left there is a big wardrobe, quite, quite spacious. That's very comfortable, so you can hang your things. I don't know how it works, but you can pull it down to take your things. And from here to the left we have uh, the living room and the kitchen area. To the center is uh, the first bathroom and there is a small study here. So let's start with the living room. Large TV, 65 inch TV. Here you have a dining table. I've switched on the lights. So, well equipped kitchen with induction stove top, air, everything. This is oh, ah, like this. And you can switch it on. You have a dishwasher, of course. Not, not here. Here is the dishwasher. And I like white. White kitchen cabinet doors. And this is also Franke. It is metal, I don't know. Porcelain. Looks expensive. And here is a big couch. It's not fold away couch, but it's comfortable and big. On the back you can see a fireplace, quite massive fireplace. And a small desk, you can study here, and a big mirror. From here you have also possibility to enter the terrace. So, that is the living room. Here you have also a place you can store some things. The vacuum cleaner is here and it's behind the curtain. Let's close it. Here is the stairs for the second floor. Uh, now we are going to the room on the right hand side. It's a small study with a leather couch and this has a, a film so people from outside cannot look in the privacy and here you can just read your books or do whatever you want. It's a bit darker room because one of the lights is not working, but it's going to be fixed. And here is also the bathroom. This, which I'm now closing, is the technical room where the central heating, uh, gas heating equipment is there. But we'll look at it later. And we have a sink, like a standard bathroom with a water closet and a shower. And one of the positive uh, things also is wood burning sauna. It's not electric, it's wood burning. And Finnish people and Estonians, they would know to appreciate that. It's quite spacious. It's quite dark here. And from the bathroom, this is also done for <laughs> privacy, but obviously 
as a way to improve. And from here, you can go to the balcony, the uh, terrace. So let's also go to the technical room. You have a dryer and a washing machine. And here is the gas central heating. And this is a water softener. So this is the technical room with all the meters, gas meters. You can dry stuff. But it's very important room to have a technical room. Also, this uh, house has floor heating on the first floor and uh, radiators on the second. Let's also see the views from the living room, kitchen area. This is the view to the trees. You can see the trees. This one is uh, shaded but it's also towards the road. And here is the terrace. Let's go check it out. Now it's kind of raining, it's wet. Let's go. You see, spacious terrace. Now it's raining and I don't have my shoes. Well, that's it, quite a big lot. Ah, one important thing I will later check, uh, there is a place where you can hold all your stuff you need to maintain this property. Let's go to the second floor. So now I'm going up the stairs. See, here is a window. And stairs and here we have three bedrooms one up front here to the left and one to the right let's start from the right and here is this bedroom with a quite wide bed, I'll measure it and put the measurements on the floor plan. And a view to Silgo Street, which is a very quiet street. And you have one more window behind that curtain with a view to the other neighbor and to the roof of the shed. You also have a big the TV. <laughs> Not that huge as downstairs, but quite good. And here is this bedroom. Also with a view to Silgo Street, to the neighbors the other side of the road, very quiet street, it's a dead end street on the other side. And here you have a window for the kids and for the grown-ups. And this is the last bedroom with a big wardrobe with a small secret you have a window in the wardrobe so no need of, for lighting during the day you can see your stuff and this is the yard spacious yard we'll take a look later and i call this bedroom the smoker's bedroom because it has a balcony Can you hear the birds? And that's the terrace.
okay now on the second floor we also need to see the bathroom and later we'll check out uh, the yard so let's go to the bathroom the bathroom is here you have an option a shower water closet and jacuzzi quite a spacious jacuzzi I like bathroom big jacuzzi and here is the mirror with a light and the window Obviously, it's uh, it's better to tint it in the future, maybe. But now it's just a temporary solution. Okay, that's it. Let's check out the yard. Another important thing: an alarm system. Of course, if you have a big house, you have to have an alarm system. So now we are exiting the main door. It's locked. You have a gate, which is powered by this motor. Now it's open. And this is the car I have rented. What is it? Boat. And you can train boxing here and this is a shed actually in this area you can also park your car and it will be on a dry spot and that's it that's a uh, silk road I will make a later video how to drive to the city you see quite quiet area few cars one car just passed and let's go and see also the yard here we have also a robot lawnmower so you don't have to mow the lawn yourself A lot of different trees. Donna told me, but I, I forgot. Some of those are kind of apples, also. I'm not a specialist. But the grass is already getting green. So the life is much more positive. And you have uh, complete privacy. And that's the house. Okay, let me know in the comments below what do you think about this property and see you in another video.